Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we just have a fun adventure going on. Have to get gas. So I'm gonna go ahead, get started with that, and I'm gonna have to put you guys in the backpack. I know, you guys don't wanna go in, but unfortunately you guys have to until we get to Kalamazoo, so let's get going. And we made it to, it's called Air Zoo. And I'm really hoping that they're gonna allow me to record. So I guess we will figure out how that goes. I kind of already went the wrong way because um, I saw people standing outside. So I kind of walked towards them to see if that was the right spot, which it was not. I guess I did miss the big sign that says entrance only. Yo, this is so cool already, guys. Like, they even gave me a map and everything. Dude, men will be flying in the air like birds. Thomas Henry. So all the carnivals and everything that you can ride is actually all shut down right now. Yeah, the guy up front told me um, when he was giving me my test and stuff that all the amusement park stuff that you could ride are going to be closed. Yo, I am so happy that I made it here, though. This is so cool. Like, look at this vehicle. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a future purchase right here, guys. I'm just kidding, I'm, there's no way I'm buying that. It says that there's a library on the map, which is right here, which looks like it's closed. Hmm, probably because of COVID, because a lot of other things are closed too. Yo, look at this. I already tried scanning the QR code and it just didn't work for me. Man, look at that tank, man. Or washing machine, whatever that was. If you guys are out towards Kalamazoo, this would be really awesome to check out. It was $16 for a ticket, and then I also donated a few extra dollars. Because um, it, it asked. But I mean, if you guys can, you know, more the barrier. I'm not saying that you guys have to, but completely up to you. This day has set upon a mighty endeavor. A struggle to preserve our republic, our religion, and our civilization. And especially World War II section right here. We are in the second part. The old radio station right here. Sorry for my big old head and the camera that's in the way there. Wall of Honor. So this is number eight. This is World War II and D-Day exhibit. Yo, I used to have a computer desk just like that at home. Ended up at Nick's house and then somehow, um, I think he got rid of it or threw it out. One of those two. I'm not mad that he did, but I kind of needed a computer desk for the computer there that I just got. Yo, this is a pretty dope helicopter. Looks like two people could fit in that. Look at my man's head. You can't even, I can't even zoom in. He's out there staring at me, judging me on the floor. Whatever, dude. It's like, we're going this way. I don't know what this does, but it says press the red button. The next one is Alien Worlds and Androids. And not just a theory, but actually... Are we not alone? I believe there's aliens. Speaking of alien, it's a pretty good movie. Explore the solar system. Listen, guys, we're on Earth right now. Mother Earth, our next voyage is probably going to be to Mars again. I remember I did a science uh, project in uh, fourth grade about the solar system, and it's so amusing. I'm pretty sure I passed with a B, not an A, but I still passed. That would be the next planet that we would be able to go to. If we end up going back out to space, which I really hope that we do, because Stephen Hawkins did say in his last final words that we have to explore the universe still outside of our solar system. It's the only way that we are going to advance because he thinks that we are not going to be here in the next thousand years. Hey, Star Wars. 
I got to learn like how um, we landed in Mars and what type of technology and like how they had to do it. They had to do it in a specific way with no rooms of error, like zero percent of error. Because if they messed up on just one thing, the entire thing goes to waste and they just wasted all that money on building the machine. Ancient civilizations looked to the heavens with curiosity and wonder. They used imagination and tools to gather knowledge of the stars. That was so much fun. I even got some goodies and stuff for the house. I'm going to set up and show you guys that later. Uh, I, uh, I was probably spent about a good hour and a half inside. I'm on, actually going to head to the next journey now because this entire day is planned and I have to make sure I time it out perfectly. If not, I'm not going to have time for anything. So let's get going to the next spot. This one right here, an old mobster car. 